Hello, Blu-ray.com. Just decided to share my Beatles collection with you on video instead of photos because I didn't want to take up more forum space. I've been collecting this for about a year now, getting things at secondhand stores. I think the most I've ever paid for one of these is $20. A lot of these I got from my parents. Some of these are originals. This Meet the Beatles is a reprint. Beatles second album. Hard Day's Night. Rubber Soul. And Sgt. Pepper are all originals. My copy of Sgt. Pepper does have the fold out. My copy of the White Album unfortunately has no inserts, but it was only $9, so I couldn't pass it up. My copy of Magical Mystery Tour contains a full color booklet. This is a reprint. Now for those of you who are new to this, since this is on that forum with that guy, you can tell a reprint really easily because it'll have a barcode. Anything with a barcode obviously can't be an original. This is an original copy of Let It Be. It has the red apple on the back. As well as the red apple on the vinyl. This is an original print of the Beatles at the Hollywood Bowl. This, I think, is the one that I paid $20 for. But if you don't have this, it's well worth it just to hear them live. Um, unlike live at the BBC, it's a lot of their original material. And it's definitely worth whatever price you have to pay. But know that there are reprints out, and the title will be split onto two lines. Unfortunately, my copy of Hey Jude looks horrible, but the vinyl plays perfectly. These two picture sleeves, I don't have the 45s to go with them. I am looking to buy. And some pins. Fan club pin, help. A couple of guitar pins. As for my singles, I've got I Saw Her Standing There with the vinyl. Unfortunately, this 45 isn't an original. Free as a Bird with the original Paperback Writer and Rain. This is on the sleeve. Again with the original. Colored vinyl. These were prints that were made for jukeboxes. This is It's All Too Much and Only a Northern Song. Here, There, and Everywhere. And Good Day Sunshine. I've also got Strawberry Fields Forever on Capital, original release in mono with uh, Penny Lane. And then this is released on Swan Records. It's I'll Get You with She Loves You. I heard these are hard to find on Swan labels and they were released only in the US. Well, that's an overview of my Beatles vinyl collection. Um, I'm probably going to be posting a video soon of my Paul McCartney and John Lennon, Ringo Starr, and George Harrison solo collections as well, just so that we can get an overview of that too. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.